Hello and welcome to Week in Weird for the week ending May 15th, 2022. My name is Gibby and I'm just getting over laryngitis, so my voice is probably going to crack sometimes during this video. Guys, guys, this is the most important story I have ever covered. I have never been angrier at a headline. Uh, Ma Master Chief just had sex. <laughs> Master Chief just lost his virginity in the Halo TV series and fans are divided. Gotta be honest, I wasn't even sure that the Halo TV series had come out, but, but apparently they're, they're moving pretty fast if you catch my drift, if you know what I mean. The IGN article that I'm getting this information from embeds this tweet and says, Look, I don't care if this is a spoiler, the world must know. In this week's Halo episode, Master Chief has sex with a Human Covenant spy prisoner while Cortana watches, and it appears it triggers events that will lead to the fall of Reach. Uh, that, that's right kids, um, you, you should not have sex, otherwise it will lead to horrible consequences, like the downfall of an entire squad of Spartan soldiers. <laughs> Master Chief kissed a girl and now I can't relate to him anymore. <laughs> IGN also ran a poll about fan reaction to it and I obviously voted for the correct answer, which is that uh, Master Chief was engineered to not have attraction to people and so this is a uh, character assassination. No, actually I do not care. I just had to pick one to see the answer. Um, but the <laughs> but the yes he should be allowed to have sex, let him live a little uh, vote has 25% of the vote and 21% uh, of people don't care. If that's you, maybe you'll enjoy this next story a little more because we're gonna once again be talking about our favorite DCEU superhero, uh, Ezra Miller. If you've seen my last couple episodes, you know that he just continually is getting arrested while staying in Hawaii. There's been like a dozen articles written about this. And this is the newest reporting of an incident that now we have body camera for. Miller, age 29, was arrested in Hawaii on March 28th for disorderly conduct. The star spat in someone's face during a game of darts, and also tried to stop a woman from singing karaoke. We knew that part already. Body cam footage has emerged of their arrest where they tell cops they're transgender and non-binary. Uh, did not know that. Apparently, Ezra Miller goes by they, them pronouns. And, uh, one of the things that they shouted was, Don't touch my penis. Ezra Miller also claims to have been assaulted for creating NFT artwork. I've been assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name and your badge number? No, 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 no. I got assaulted and I started filming. Okay. Let me show you the video. Let's talk stories outside. Let's talk stories outside. Okay. And Ezra Miller, this is from the warrants, but he's caution codes on Mabel 29, Caucasian Hill. I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name? What's your badge number? Tell me your name and your badge number. White key. Ezra. Full name, full badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. We don't touch me. Tell me your name and your badge number. Now. Tell me, tell me your name and your badge number now. White key, one, three, six. You. Get off the road. I mean, just, I'm being arrested for disorderly conduct. Yeah. I was no. complying. Well, you didn't want to complain. I was. You said get off the road, I got off the road. No, you did it. I did. No, you I walked on the edge of the road. So what did I do wrong? Like, a guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay, so? It kind of sounded like Ezra was saying that they take the footage of people assaulting them and make it into NFT art. Not that they're being assaulted because of their NFT art. I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's that might just be down with Ezra being like very nervous because they're being arrested. Very unclear. I'm gonna be totally honest. I actually did not know that Ezra Miller used they them pronouns when I started that story, which makes it very weird that that's kind of segueing into our next story. So Bloomhouse is creating a movie called They Slash Them. It is a horror grindhouse movie about an. It is a horror grindhouse movie about an LGBTQ plus conversion camp, where uh, one of the counselors goes crazy and starts slaughtering people, and it's called They Slash Them, and yeah, the entire movie's just a pun. It literally only exists because it's a pun. It's probably gonna be terrible, but it's a pun. As the camp's methods become increasingly more psychologically unsettling, the campers must work together to protect themselves. 
When an unidentified axe murderer starts claiming victims, things get even more dangerous, the official summary reads. And yes, Kevin Bacon is in it. Now apparently this was not the original title of the movie, as Newsweek reports. Despite the pun, They Slash Them was not the original title for the movie. Earlier press from April 2021 announced the film under a different title, Whistler Camp, named for Bacon's character. Somehow that gives me less hope for the quality of the movie. At least if it was solely based on a pun, you would know that the person who was making it had a deep connection to their own original idea, especially since it's coming out on Peacock. And the final story for the week is also the worst thing I've ever read in my entire life. Dolly Parton is starring in a new TikTok musical about Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. See, I know what all of those words mean individually, but when you combine more than two of them together, it becomes just pure nonsense. The satirical musical is based on the true story of the internet losing its mind after the fast food chain removed the product from its menu in late 2020, according to the screenplay shared on Parton's Instagram post. The Taco Bell Mexican Pizza musical starring Dolly Parton will air at 8pm on May 26th, exclusively on TikTok. This would be a really cool chance to, uh, to plug my exclusive TikTok videos. Except I don't really make them anymore, so that would be a waste. Instead, I'm gonna plug my merch. This is my Gibby shirt. And that, that's, uh, that's, that's my mug. And you can buy them on my Teespring store, which is linked in the description, and there also should be a rail below the video. Thank you for watching this episode of Weekend Weird. The names scrolling by are, of course, the names of my patrons. I did not actually watch a new movie this week, because the only thing that came out was Firestarter. And I don't care about Firestarter. So instead, I'm gonna plug my, uh, my latest Chris Chan video. He actually is back into the jail that he was originally sent to. Actually, it's the second jail he was sent to. Uh, but he's out of- he's out of the mental facility he was in. He's back in regular jail. And he was able to send a letter, so, uh, we now get the insight into his mind. And it's, uh, it's a lot worse than people were thinking. So maybe you want to check that out. Thank you for watching.